All right, so we want to look at the function y equals x cubed plus x, and we want to figure out when it's increasing, decreasing, figure out when it has certain concavity, and while we're at it, find the relative max, mins, and inflection points. So the first thing we want to do is to take a look at the derivative, since it will give us when the function is increasing and when it's decreasing using the power rule y prime is 3x squared plus 1. So we can find all the critical points of y by setting y prime equal to 0. That means 3x squared plus 1 equals 0. And so that means 3x squared is equal to minus 1. And since x squared is a negative number, that means that there are no solutions. Therefore, there are no critical points. Remember that critical points also arise when the derivative is undefined, but 3x squared plus 1 is defined over all real numbers, so we have no critical points here. So then let's move on to increasing and decreasing. Usually when we have critical points, we draw a sign chart, and then we put the critical points on it, but there are no critical points, so we only really have one interval to test. That means that interval being all real numbers, we can just plug any real number in, for example, 0, and we get positive 1. So the function is always increasing. It's always going up. Now we can look at the second derivative to look at concavity. The original function, remember, was x cubed plus x, and the derivative of th was 3x squared plus 1. So the second derivative is 6x. Let's look at all the candidates for inflection points. That means y double prime is 0, which of course means x is 0. So this is a potential inflection point. We don't know if it is one yet, but we can check by drawing a sign chart with y double prime, 0 separates the sign chart, and then we can plug in a positive number or a negative number, and it's pretty clear that it's negative with negatives and positive with positives. So it's concave up on the right and down on the left. So we can write down our answer now. This function is increasing on negative infinity to infinity has no max nor min because it has no critical points. It can't have max min. It's concave down on negative infinity to zero. It's concave up on zero to infinity. And it has one inflection point at x equals 0, and y would also be equal to 0. Remember that y is x cubed plus x. And so this list gives us all the information that we wanted.